Hey everybody, welcome to the Tater Buggin Kitchen a little early today. Um, Mr. Tater Buggin will be on at 5.30 and I thought I would sneak in here since I missed getting to hang out with y'all yesterday. I just got home from running some errands about 30 minutes ago and I thought, well, let's just do this. Let's make this cute little snack I've been wanting to make. Hey Donna, how are you doing? I'm gonna see the best way to, to get in here. I don't know, this is different for me. It's been a while since I was in the kitchen. So y'all come on in if you're watching on replay, comment hashtag replay and let me know you are here. Hey Marjorie and Carol, y'all doing okay? It is cold here today, cold. Hey Sandy, I uh, was out running those errands and uh, I froze to death. Hey Susan, everybody's getting here. Marjorie, uh, Wendy, and Maria. Hey, hey, hey Amy, hey Teresa. I'm so glad y'all could join me on such short notice. Hey Slow Jam, how are you feeling? I hope you're healing up good. Hey Claudia, there's Carol and Diane and Deb. It's hot in Georgia. Ugh. It's cold here. There's Chris. Hey, Diane, Ellen. I'm trying to focus these contacts. Nancy. Hey, Vicki. There's Gail. This ain't gonna take long, so I can say hello for a little bit. <laughs> hey, Kat. I am feeling much better today, Susan. Thank you so much. Hey, Karen. Just got a pot of stew. Oh, put on a pot of stew. Perfect weather for that. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Betty. Jacqueline. Lucinda. All my friends are here. Oh, you did, Bonnie. Good. I'm so glad. Oh, thank you for doing that, Diane. Not sure how long I'll get to watch. Oh, I understand, Betty. I just appreciate you being here. Hey, Tracy and Nelda. I know it's been, we have had, I think we're coming up on six inches of rain this week. It's just, uh, I'm sick of it. I don't mind a rainy day every now and then. I really, really don't. It's kind of cozy and all, but when it drags on for days on end, Ugh, and it's cold outside too. We had ice. We've had ice the past two days. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Christine and Regina. I am so glad y'all are all here. This is, I think this is going to be such a simple one. If I stand up, see, I, let's see. Cut my head off. I've got a cabinet right there. See the cabinet? <laughs> I've got a little different view than Mr. Taterbug in here. Um, but it's not going to take long. Hey, Melissa, how are you? And a Shelly and Debbie. Come on. There's Sarah. I know. Oh, the ice is, ugh. So, Maureen, I am going to make, I saw this on Pinterest. This is not my idea, but I love this flavor combo. And when I saw it, it was so stinking cute. I knew I had to try it. So, why not try it with y'all? Um, while I was out running errands today, I got the last thing you're going to need. So simple. These waffle pretzels. Do I need to, do I need to flip it, y'all? Let me flip it. I forgot to do that. Okay. So, you can see the, the uh, waffle, those square pretzels. Hey, Luann. Hey, Glenda. Y'all keep coming on in. You're going to need some of these cute pastel colored M&Ms. Some of y'all probably can guess what we're doing. Is it soft? Oh, Melissa, I'm so sorry it's not. <laughs> and then I went to Hobby Lobby and I got these little candy, white candy wafers. You could probably just use white chocolate um, chips maybe, but I wanted to try it with these first and see how they are. Hey, Terry. So what we're gonna do, I've got my little uh, bacon sheet out and we're gonna put parchment paper down. I'm not gonna make a whole bunch of them because I don't need to eat a whole bunch of them. 
and uh, I'll, I'll make enough to take a few over to the parents next door and for us to taste, but that's it. I want spring. Yes, I want spring so bad. Hey, D. I am. It's not much cooking. It's kind of assembling, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a go here. And we're just. You can just put out as many as you want to make at a time. Um, and they're obviously not gonna expand at all. So just you can put them as tight on here as you want to. Like I said, I don't want to make a ton of them. Because I don't need to eat a ton of them. And I love the anything with the salty and sweet combination. Let's go that way. Yeah. So I'm just kind of lining them up here. And I did wash my hands right before I went live. I know I was going to be handling all of this. Still a little while until spring. Mm. Yeah, we will start, I'll tell you, we have daffodils blooming here, and I looked out yesterday, I think it was, and my forsythia bush out back has buds on it. That's always my, for, I don't have any daffodils in my yard, so my first sign of spring is always my forsythia bush, and I love it for that. So it has buds on it. So it won't be too terribly long here. Um, March, We'll get a lot of, we'll get a lot of rain. We get snow in March here sometimes too, but it's usually January and February when that happens for us. All right, that's about enough. I don't know if my mom and dad are gonna love these, but they might. If they do, I'll make more. Uh, what? state do you live in? I'm in Tennessee, Brandy. I'm in uh, just outside of Memphis, Tennessee. And now the wafers. I kept backwards now for me, so I just wanted you to be able to read these packages. Prayer for my daughter. She's having severe headaches. Now. Oh, Susan, absolutely. I hope it's okay. Um, speaking of the neurologist, um, just before I was going live, I uh, had a phone call from my dad's doctor's office, and um, they've got him set up with a neurologist at March 9th. So, hi, Belle. So, here's what these little um, white chocolate wafers look like. I love these things. Oh, when you mix, uh, my aunt would make that wonderful white uh, almond bark mix. You know, it had pretzels. Almond bark, pecans, I think. Oh, all that good stuff. Oh, I love it. Uh, yeah, salty and sweet. I just love it. So all I'm doing is just laying one little um, wafer on top of each one of these pretzels. Silly to even do this live because it's so simple. But I, I just want to hang out with y'all. I hope that's okay. I thought we could chit-chat while while we're creating this. I already know what I want to make with y'all Sunday, but the problem is I could have gone on and done that today had Amazon delivered my last piece that I needed for it. I don't usually have to order from Amazon for a, a craft, but I couldn't find the key ingredient. So it's going to get here, but it says before 10 o'clock tonight. So I'll be, um, I'll be in the bed by then. And since Mr. Taterbug is gonna be in the kitchen today anyway, um, this can be your dessert. How about that? A little snack. Like I said, if you missed it, I did find this on Pinterest. And when I saw the picture of it, I knew immediately I wanted to try them. Is it new to you, Michelle? Oh, good. I got these wafers at, uh, I got these at Hobby Lobby today over in the, um, you know, the baking stuff. The recipe that I read called for, you know, Wilton wafers, but Hobby Lobby didn't have Wilton wafers, and I have a feeling a white chocolate wafer is a white chocolate wafer, right? Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, you're at work too, Jill? Oh, I understand. I appreciate y'all popping in when you can. I know I'm usually live during, um, during work hours. 
I'm not much of a night owl. And uh, I'm not much of a morning person. I'm a midday person. <laughs> Is anybody else like that? I'm a middle of the day person. Hit me from 11 to 2. I'm good. <laughs> I hope so, Susan. I hope you'll like them. Hey, Doreen. Oh, thank you so much, Gail. You're so sweet. I appreciate that. I really do. So, this is just, you know, laying wafers down on little, on little squares. Oh, thank you, Doreen, for the stars. You're so sweet. I appreciate that. And after this, now I've got my oven preheated to 250. Just really low. Oh, thank you. Is that, that's Kathy? Thank you so much, Kathy. I got to get it the right distance with these contacts in just to see. Mr. Taterbuggin is doing tonight. We previewed it last night and I had it again for lunch today. He did up. <gasps> so good. What's it called? Southwest chicken southwest grilled chicken i don't remember but all i know is it's good and i have a feeling we may try slapping it in a tortilla and making a quesadilla out of it too so that's all i've done just put one little wafer on top like i said you can make as many or as few as you want to well this is new instead of a dog in the kitchen there's a kitty cat ruby came in here to see me Ooh. all right i'm gonna stick this in the oven and we're just going to soften those. It'll take about three minutes. So we've got three minutes to kill. <laughs> I do too, Sonia. And this one's good. You don't have to make up a, a huge batch. Um, let me turn it this way just a little bit now. You don't have to make up a huge, huge batch unless you're going to have a ton of people over. You can just, if you get a hankering for some of these, you could stick five of them in the oven and uh just do that many lindy is like your next door neighbor friend that you love oh you're so sweet luann that is sweet i love that i uh, yeah you know the the stores it's the weirdest things that what was it that we could not find here recently it was so, so oh i couldn't find frito scoops I was going to do this dip last Sunday while the girls were over here for our live. And uh, it looked so good, but it called for Frito Scoops. I went to two different grocery stores. They had regular Fritos. They had everything else. No scoops. So, only uses... Yes, I've made those before, and I love those with the caramel in the middle of the Rolos and the two. Ooh, I love that flavor combo, too. These just look, they just scream spring and fun. And I know your your kids and grandkids are going to love them uh, because they look so cute. We had trouble finding crackers for a while, too. Uh, yeah, let me show you. If you're just getting on here, we used these um, waffle pretzels. Words, Wendy. And then I got these candy white candy wafers from Hobby Lobby. I imagine, doesn't Michael sell Wilton? I don't know, but you could do, hey, there's Trish. Yeah, it was impromptu. I was out running errands till about 2.30 and I came in and I finally had the stuff to make this cute little snack. So I missed being live yesterday and I, I wanted to hang out today. So we're just doing it live. Oh. Uh, so what 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 were you looking for, Regina? Wednesday. <clears throat> oh, did you? You're so sweet. Who said that? Let me go back up. Janice, thank you. I'm glad y'all enjoyed that. Hello from Mississippi. Can't find Ritz wheat crackers anywhere. <laughs> oh no, sitting there with your broken foot. Ugh. I've heard a lot of people are having trouble finding biscuits, yeah. Oh, Joanne, see, I don't have a, my closest Joanne fabric is 40 
minutes, 45 minutes away, so I don't get to go there very often, though I love it. They're ready. Let me just put this down in case it's kind of warm. Get my oven glove out. Look out, Bo. Yeah. So they're nice and soft. See how they look now? They're just kind of starting to sink down into the little holes. So now, we got our M&Ms, our pastel colored M&Ms. I'm just going to pour them in a bowl to make it easier. Look how pretty. All right, now let me move this back over this way. Can y'all see that pretty good? Yeah. Okay, so let's do one in the middle of each one of these. I don't think it matters the color you decide to put in the middle. I think these are going to be so good. What did it, uh, Joanne sells Wilton. Okay. I'm going to remember that. Um, because Hobby Lobby does not, but these may be just as good. I don't know. Like I said, it, is it, well, of course, sometimes... Sometimes it pays to get the actual name brand, but then sometimes there's uh, certain things that you can get away with a more generic and they still taste the same. I don't know. It's quiet in here right now. Oh, my, my uh, comment stopped. Okay. I think they're going to be so good. Will Mr. T, Mr. T will eat M&M's later? Oh, he loves M&M's. His favorite, though, are peanut butter M&M's. Sometimes chocolate doesn't agree with him a whole lot. So his favorite's peanut butter M&M's, which I love peanut butter M&M's too, but I try to stay out of them. Now, I want to see... I'm gonna stop here just a second and pull out, let's do this one. Oh, Cause I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. How did they make them fit? Wait, let me get this. This is where you gotta pick out the colors. Do, do. Y'all, can you see, wait, can you see the little pink flower? Oh my goodness, these are going to be so cute. Okay, so let me do, um, let me do some. Okay. It hurt somebody back here. <laughs> Green in the middle. They want to know if you're going to eat M&M's. He's drinking his tea right now. Are you, are you on right now? I'm on right now. Oh. We are making flowers. Cute little flowers. What's the name of your, um, what you're doing tonight? I was telling him a little bit about it. Smart Supper. <laughs> Smarty pants, smarty it pants. It is uh, Skillet Southwest Chicken. Skillet Southwest Chicken. Come on, let me let me bring y'all over closer, so you can see what I'm doing. You know, get out of there! <laughs> can y'all see? Supper, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's find a. Let's do blue center with yellow petals. A little bit crafty, right, y'all? <laughs> Just a smidge. They turn out so cute. All right. Let's see. I'm going to do a couple more. I like the green in the center. I don't know why I can't drop that M&M in the center better. 
It doesn't matter. It kind of slides around. Let's see. For the, let's do a purple center. I'm going to scooch this over and do pink petals on that one. Betty's back. Welcome back, Betty. We are making M&M flowers. Doesn't it? It doesn't, it screams spring and Easter to me with these cute little colors. And like I said, you know, I knew when I read the ingredients, I love the flavor combo. So, um, and of course, we're just going to fix them up, stick them in the fridge so they'll set and they're ready to go. It doesn't get any easier than that, does it? Get it, get, get stay on, stay on your pretzel. Be a cute cookie. I mean, a flower. All right. Let's do some over here that y'all can see. Do that in there. I gotta get in the kitchen. Uh oh. Well, it's just right down in here. Um, I'll let you have all the rest of this this part of the kitchen. Let's do. Um, there's a yellow center. Let's do blues. <laughs> Like it matters. They don't even all have to be the same color petal. You could mix them up if you wanted to, right? Oh, Luann, no more snow, okay? We've had our snow. We've had two rounds of ice. I'm done. I'm done, done, done. That's enough. Let's do some. Your background, Just your hands. You can wave to him while you wash your hands. He's been over there working on y'all's orders. That's what I'm about to go do as soon as I'm done here. I've got blocks to make and blocks to sand and paint and finish. Hey, Opa. Oh, I know y'all are over it up there in Michigan. Your I thought your grandkids might love these, Amy. Look how cute. In fact, you know, it, but depending on their age, they could make these. They could have fun making these with you. Let's do purples on this pink. And can't you just see these out on a plate at, at, at Easter? Cute. Where was I? Let's get, smush these in here. I wish I was creative enough to, to dream these things up myself. That's just pretty clever. Which used to go on the pretzels for they are, let me show you, white uh, candy wafers. I just got them at Hobby Lobby. But I, you know, I wonder if you could use uh, white chocolate chips. I don't know. The wafers sure were easy, though, I'll tell you that. Let's do some blues. Robin, are you new? Welcome. I don't normally, I'm not normally in the kitchen, and I'm not normally on... On Fridays, my husband is. He'll be, he'll be cooking in the kitchen at 5.30, but I didn't get to go live yesterday at my usual time, so I decided to do this with y'all. Rollo candies on those. Oh, you know, we did, I've done those where you uh, do the square pretzel, a Rollo, and then another pretzel on top and kind of, oh, oh, those are good. They're yummy. Okay, I'm digging around for some. To everybody, I said hello, and I'll be looking for him tonight. Yeah, he wants y'all to come back at 5.30 for his recipe, for his cooking. And I'm telling you, it's a, it's a keeper. He practiced it on me. Can y'all see? The, look how cute. Ah, uh, these are so cute. Oh, thank you, Celia. I am so much better today. I did not feel good yesterday and just sat in my recliner and I now so I am behind. Really behind. I gotta I gotta make up for it this weekend. And like I was saying earlier, if you missed it, um 
I have a craft I'm ready to do with y'all, but then Amazon said my one last ingredient isn't going to be here till about 10 o'clock tonight, so I'll do that Sunday. So I'll be back on Sunday at 4. Okay, Luann said, well, I'll be here. She's going to be here for you. Good. Yeah, Tanya, you're so right. And, you know, I think that's my problem. I kind of overdid it. I was just going and going and going, and it just all caught up to me. I did rest Monday, but it was like yesterday. My body said, nope, you're going to have to sit it down for a little while. So I just hate that it fell on a Thursday when I was supposed to be live. Let's do another little cute, cute green flower. That's blue. That's not green. And I'm going to do one all the different colors. That might be fun, too. Let's see what it's like. He is over there prepping the chicken for you now that he's going to have tonight. Yep, it's about to go to the grill. I'm going to do pink. And yellow, yellow, pink, and pink. That's cute too. Look at these sweet little flowers. Aren't they precious? Just catching you. What do you make them? I'm making a little snack. Carolyn, it's just got waffle shaped pretzels, uh, white candy wafers and pastel color uh, M&Ms. Yeah, y'all can see him sprinkling the chicken. <laughs> what happened? It didn't get, uh-oh. Uh We're gonna have to redo that. I'm just gonna do a, a happy little all colors. Oh, do you, Kathy? Well, you'll you'll love tonight. Then it was um, it was really good. Let's see. I'll do pink around the blue here. Yeah, I suggest leaving a little space between your pretzels just to fit your all your M and M's. Bother me if I turn it back on. No, it's very quiet. It'll be all right. Okay. Get dark green M&Ms and make shamrocks. Absolutely, that would be so cute. And of course, you could do this with Christmas M&Ms. They make them. What? What other? Let's see. Pastels. I think they do red, white, and blue. Uh, for 4th of July, don't they? Am I wrong? Did I make that up in my head? Hey, Gail. Well, this is, you know, this is pretty tedious, this part, but... <laughs> Yeah, pull out all the green ones for St. Patty's. Um, let's do just blue. Good afternoon, Marie. How are you doing? Um, Michelle, he comes on at 5.30 Central. So it won't be long now. But y'all get the idea. Now you know you're going to be making these uh, little cuties for your for yourself or for your families or whatever. Top the wafer with a kiss. The peppermint ones would be good too. Absolutely, Leanne. Yum. 
these um, the white candies, Susie. I've never had them. I'm hoping they taste just like white um, chocolate or that almond bark. Oh, good, Kayla. I'm glad you're going to try. Oh, there's Kayla. How are you doing? Kayla is an awesome baker. Awesome. I can attest to that. Yeah, you're going to have to make some of these. Kayla, here's, here's proof that sometimes I do have real clothes on and makeup. <laughs> Every time Kayla has seen me, I have been sitting in my chair, in my pajamas, crazy hair, and no makeup. After the second time I told her, I promise I don't do this all the time. <laughs> uh, oh, I love your goodies. We both do. Yeah. There, yeah. Okay. Oh, Tanya, you're sweet, but you, you have not caught me the way Kayla has. <laughs> it's not but two hours to lie. Yeah, he's only got two hours and he'll be alive, so he's got to get himself ready. Get out of my kitchen. <laughs> yes, sir. I better hurry up. Um, you, I put the wafer on and uh, had the oven on 250 and just put them in there for like three minutes to soften them. Oh, thank you, Melissa. You know who made this? This is Trish Thomas. This is Love and Life Jewelry. If I'm not mistaken, she's been making more jewelry for y'all. Is she still here? Trish, can you hear me? She's probably working while she's got us on. But yeah, I, you know, and I've got her earrings on today too. Can you see those? Another set of her pretty earrings. Yeah, don't these look good? They're so fun. They just, you know, I've been on a spring kick because I'm willing it to get here. So, I was just ready. These scream spring. And then, of course, you're going to just put this all in the fridge for about 15 minutes. Let them set. And they're good to go. Yeah, there she is. There. Thank you so much, Trish. I was, the other night, I was uh, scoping out her site and looking at all the new stuff. And, oh, I wanted to order so bad. There are several pieces that. Oh, I'm dying to get my hands on. No. I know. I have an obsession. I really do. I love her jewelry so, so much. Okay. We're going to, I'm just going to pick these up and show you up close and personal. This ought to be, yeah. Can y'all see how cute those are? Oh, I love them. I love them. So that's all I got for today. I just wanted to, let me scooch down here, do a, a quick, a quick live with you. <laughs> a quick live with you to show you this cute little snack. Did y'all hear him? I don't, well, I do kind of critique him while he cooks, I suppose. So. Not yet. They've got to cool and harden. He's trying to reach for one. Aren't they adorable, Trish? Y'all got to try these. These are too stinking cute. No, I didn't finish them all, but I'm gonna. I just didn't know if y'all wanted to sit around watching me drop M&Ms on all of them. Because it might take a hot minute to finish this out. I know. I think they're going to be so good. And um, I'm going to take them when I... I'm going to put them in the fridge for a few minutes and then take them out and put them on a plate and take a picture for y'all so you can see how they, how cute they are on a plate and all finished up. 
I should have done a bigger, I should have given them um, more space. Well, he's gone now, I would. I should have just let him have one while they're, I don't suppose they have to be set, set, do they? You've been shooed out of the kitchen. <laughs> Trish, y'all need to do this with the grandbabies this weekend. I think Martina would love to do these, wouldn't she? Okay, they said for you to go on and eat one. <laughs> go on and let him have one. Gone. Gone. I went to blue one. Okay, that ought to be set. Mm -hmm. Tell us. Mm. Tell us what you think. I almost got a ooh darn. I got a ooh yum though, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, you could, Beverly. You really could. So, let me turn it this way so they're like, ooh. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, y'all. Wonder how the mini baking M&Ms would do. Ah! Do they have them in, do they have those in like pastels? But they'd still be cute. I mean, they're in those cute colors. So why not? Leanne, try them and let us know, okay? <laughs> ah, I know they're just so springy and cute. Give me, let's see, let's do this. This one looks like it's kind of set. Look. Is that adorable? Whoop! I almost lost it. I almost lost it. Cute, cute. Okay, so that's it for me. I'm going to let him have his kitchen and come back and join us at 530. I don't, I didn't know there are many. Yeah, there are. Bring your friends. Yeah, tell your friends. No, we need it. We need it. Jazz hands. He needs to dance tonight. He needs a jig tonight. Oh, Marie, I made these cute little um, Easter spring snacks. You've got to watch the replay because they're so easy. And come back at 530 Central Time. I almost said our time. That doesn't tell you anything. 530 Central. He'll be on in two hours. Um, making a Southwest chicken dish that is so yummy. All right. I enjoyed spending time with y'all today. I forgot skillet. Grilled ch it's got grilled chicken and it, it's got all kinds of good things. Um, Mexican corn, Mexican rice. We put a dollop of sour cream on the top. Ooh, it was really good and it reheats really well. Thank y'all. I'm going to go now. And let me do that. And I will, you'll hear me in the background at 530. And I'll be back Sunday at 4. Love y'all. Bye.